forests are the lungs of the earth. The mechanism through which the world breathes. But forests can also breathe life to commerce, economic sustenance, and sustainable livelihood. Through the forestry industry, an industry with great potential that has not been fully utilized for the national good. The story began in the 1960s when the country was estimated to have approximately 12 million hectares of forests. The thriving forestry industry at that time resulted in the abuse of resource. prompting the government to implement stricter regulations which affected the industry. Because of these regulations, the focus switched from self-sufficient production to importation. Annual demand for wood products was around 5 million cubic meters in 2015 and was projected to increase radically in the coming years. But only 17% of this comes from local sources, while the remaining 83% is imported from abroad. This is why it is not a surprise that the forestry sector contributes only 0.01% to the GDP. In response, the Department of Environment and National Resources through the Forest Management Bureau initiated the Forestry Investment Roadmap, or FIRM. FIRM is a blueprint to encourage private sector investments in forestry. FIRM aims to revitalize forestry investments through local and foreign direct investments in an environmentally sound, economically viable, and socially responsible manner towards inclusive growth and sustainable development. The firm also aims to increase the forestry industry's contribution to the national GDP by 0.13% by 2028. The firm aims to achieve this by streamlining the investment process and making it more investor-friendly. To support this, policies were crafted and revised. 1. The Forestry Investment Portfolio Approach, or FIPA is a policy that covers untenured production forest lands with a forest land use plan and offers a forestry investment portfolio package, which shall include the forestry investment development plan, documentary requirements such as certificate of non-overlap, certificate of non-coverage, local government unit endorsements, and the issuance of appropriate tenure instruments, among others. 2. The DNR Administrative Order 2020-18 was issued to promote free plantation development. The policy covers plantation establishment certification and harvesting of planted trees and three derivatives. Aside from the 5% inventory to be conducted by a licensed forester in tenured, managed forest lands, certification from a third-party certifier shall be the only requirement for harvesting and transporting of product. 3. Revised regulations on wood processing plant entail major amendments that include updated formula in the computation of annual wood requirement, wood processing plant validity, inventory requirement, reformulated fees and bonds, promotion of vertical integration, and updated approving authorities for new applications. FIRM also institutionalizes forestry investment support mechanisms, clearly identifies potential investment areas, and provides secure tenure and partnership agreements. FIRM paves the way for the proper development and management of forestry investment areas. Building, strengthening, and sustaining partnerships with existing tenure holders and implementing new and effective marketing strategies. 
support us in this meaningful endeavor to revitalize the Philippine forestry industry. We are born with natural gifts and talents, but we need to develop and hone those talents to make optimal use of them. In the same way, we have been given wondrous environmental gifts and abundant natural resources, but we need to develop and nurture them to fulfill their potential. Such is the mission of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources and the Forest Management Bureau through the Forest Investment Roadmap. A mission that can only be accomplished with your help.